in order for the user to experiment with the model, they need both levers to change variables in the model, but they also need some place to see the results. So the next thing we're going to do is add a graph to the model. And this will be very familiar to you if you're familiar with using the modeling portion of the software. We click on the graph icon, which is in the toolbar, and drop it. And when we have the graph there, we're going to double click on the graph to select the variables that we want to include in the graph. And in this case, I want to include the population, and I also want to include the carrying capacity. And for the sake of making the graph easier to see, I'm going to set the line thickness to be 2 instead of 1, which is 1 is the standard, and I'm going to make these set to 2. And although there are many other formatting options that we can play around with, I think for now we'll leave that as it is. However, I do want to make the graph stand out a little bit more. So I'd like to put a, a box behind it. And for that, we're going to use our shape icon, which is hidden um, underneath the graphics in the toolbar. So I'm going to click on that and drop it. And it's giving me a plain square, which is actually what I want. And I'm going to make it big enough so it can be act as a background in my graph. And I'm going to format that so background um, actually has, again, a color um, from the mice. And I don't want it to be transparent. OK, so now that our graph is set, uh, with the background, I'm going to move it over a little bit to give us more room for our input devices.